Hello, it is Caitlin here with Hilo Chic's Closet, and I'm a full-time reseller. I mainly resell over on Instagram at Hilo Chic's Closet, and I also dabble a little bit in Poshmark and eBay. So I spend about an hour on Poshmark a week. Um, I don't list there consistently. I try to batch work. So like this past week, I think I got up 25 items, which is great. Um, but I do have a virtual assistant. It is the only help that I currently have in my business who shares my closet once a day. And so that definitely helps um, with sales. So I just wanted to do a video about what sold last week in January. Um, again, I put very little time into Poshmark, but I actually have a goal in mind for this year to sell $10,000 net on Poshmark so that I can surprise my husband with that and say, this is to help pay off our mortgage. So that's my current goal. So this past week I sold eight items, which is very little compared to what I sell on Instagram, but I don't care. It's wonderful because the shipping is so easy on Poshmark and it's stuff that hasn't sold that's sold. So I'm very happy. So I'm going to go through each item, the price it sold for, and if I would pick it up again. So first up is a men's rag and bone sweatshirt. And I found this, I think maybe just a few weeks ago, not too long, maybe a month. And it sold for $45. I would 100% pick it up again. Super good, had interest in it. So that one was great. Next is a Victoria's Secret Pink Arizona specific um, for the their sports teams. It was a half zip pullover and it sold for $20. I pick up those if the price is right because they don't make those anymore. So the Victoria's Secret Pink um, specific to different sports teams, those can be a really good pickup if the price is good enough and the uh, item is still in great condition. So that sold for 20. Then Mother Denim Jeans, they were the slasher hillbilly. So they were more of a straight leg style, not skinny, which isn't as much in demand. They were actually mine personally, so I sold them for $35. Um, that was fine with me. And if I was out in the wild thrifting, I would pick up Mother because I love Mother jeans. Um, the next item is the brand Cole, K-U-H-L. And these were a pair of hiking pants. I did not have them very long. And they sold for $25, which I was happy with. So I would definitely pick those up again. It's a good brand. Um, I find it a lot here in Colorado. Next is a pair of shoes by Donald J. Pliner. They sold for $20. Um, they were not the most recent style and I would not pick them up again. I have, I have them for a long time and that was just, I would pick more recent Donald J. Pliner up. They were in excellent condition though. Next is a pair of Arcteryx yoga pants and they sold for 25. I would definitely pick up those again. I hadn't had them very long at all and they sold quickly maybe just a few weeks up there next is a joseph ribkoff striped dress i thought it was super cute um although i would not pick it up again because it was up for quite a while didn't have much interest and then i sold it for twenty dollars which is decent but um i just don't know if i would pick that up again that certain style maybe that is a better ebay brand but i hadn't put it up on ebay yet Next and last piece is a pair of new with tags three by one jeans. It's a newer denim brand. It is really pricey. Um, they sold for $40. I would probably pick them up again if the price was right, but they did sit for a very long time. So it is a newer denim brand. They are pricey, but they don't seem to be super on trend yet, maybe, or the brand doesn't have that big of a following yet. So that was all that I sold on Poshmark, eight items, $230, that is the gross total. So then Poshmark takes 20%. Thankfully shipping, the buyer pays shipping. So that's awesome. Um, so I'm happy with it because it's going towards my goal and it was extra money that I didn't have the week before. So I hope you found this informative. You can find me over on Instagram at Hilo Sheets Closet. And thank you so much for watching and I super appreciate subscribing. Take care.